Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are talking about the latest stock market news updates that investors need to know about, and we will also discuss the best stocks to buy. With that being said, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now, subscribe if you are new, comment down below your thoughts about any or all of these stories, and with that being said, let's get right into it. According to the article, rallies from AI-related companies weren't enough to keep the major indexes from falling yesterday. And and as you can see on screen, the Nasdaq, the S&P 500, and the Dow have all fallen in their respected prices. But it's not all doom and gloom because we also saw Bitcoin continuing their surge upwards to where they set a new all-time high. And naturally, this lifted the prices of altcoins as well, including meme coins like Dogecoin. So I'd love to hear your thoughts down below if you personally hold a Bitcoin in your portfolio. But now let's focus more on stocks. To follow up from a previous news update, JetBlue and Spirit Airlines have officially called off their $3.8 billion merger. Now this is not a big surprise, considering that a court already tried to terminate this merger. But we left the last news update saying that these companies could potentially appeal the decision and try again. However, now we move on to this most recent update which says that even if they could win an appeal, they just don't see a path forward for obtaining regulatory approval. Therefore, JetBlue will have to pay Spirit Airlines $69 million for bowing out of this merger. And this is why JetBlue's stock has increased lately and Spirit Airlines stock has gone downwards. I have actually traded off the volatility of this merger, so it's great to see that I'm going to make some more money with JetBlue, but Spirit Airlines is in a very tough spot right now because potentially this entire airline could go out of business considering their debt load. This was one of Spirit's last hopes to merge with JetBlue blue just to survive. Therefore, the future of this company is unknown, but we do know that they have loads of debt and it's not looking good for Spirit Airlines right now. Luckily, I also own United Airlines and American Airlines, which to me have a lot more value to give to investors, but I would love to hear your thoughts about this down below. Now let's talk about Apple, because the European Commission recently hit Apple with a $1.95 billion fine after concluding that Apple used their dominance to restrict music streaming streaming competition from other competitors like Spotify. According to a report, European regulators determined that for a decade, Apple prevented music streaming services like Spotify from telling iPhone users that they could get cheaper subscriptions outside of Apple's App Store. But despite this, Apple seems confident that they can appeal this fine. So we're going to have to see what happens over in Europe. But it gets even worse for Apple because meanwhile, over in the United States, the Department of Justice is expected to also file a lawsuit against Apple, which is accusing them of trying to suppress competition. So it seems that things are heating up for Apple, but I don't think this is going to impact them a lot, considering that they have so much money on their balance sheet, they could easily pay any fines that the US or the European Commission hit Apple with. So I'll keep you up to date on whether or not Apple's appeal will go through and whether or not they will have to pay this fine. In the short term, this could cause some volatility in Apple's share price, but overall, Apple is still a fundamentally solid company. Next up, let's talk about Best Buy and Macy's, which are very large retail chains who are set to announce that they will try to boost in-person business. First, let's start off talking about Best Buy. Even after closing 24 big stores, the electronics chain said it will close 10 to 15 more large locations over the next year or so. And their plan is to close these larger stores and open up smaller stores in places that had no prior physical location. Meanwhile, as you recall from a previous news update, Macy's announced that they will close 150 locations. And just like Best Buy, they will open 30 smaller ones which will measure around 30,000 to 50,000 square feet, which means it would be around 20% of a regular mall-sized Macy's. In the short term, this will weigh on the share prices of both of these companies, but hopefully this will help them align their overall financials to impress investors later on. So please incorporate and anticipate further volatility in their share prices. Therefore, it's not going to be a surprise to see volatility in their share prices moving forward, so please be careful. And a few other quick news updates, we have American Airlines, which has ordered 260 new planes to meet the growing travel demand. And this is great news not only for American Airlines, but rather all airlines, because as travel demand increases, we could see stocks such as hotels, airlines, and travel agencies go up in their respected prices. 
On top of that, American Airlines is also heavily investing into luxury seating for their first class flyers. Moving on to our next story, we have a Trader Joe's recalling their steamed chicken soup, which might contain hard plastic from a permanent marker. So please be aware of that and stay safe. But now let's talk about the best stocks to buy and let's perform some stock analysis, starting off with none other than Palantir Technologies, ticker symbol PLTR. Palantir Technologies is a big data and analytics company which serves both commercial enterprises as well as government agencies. And this company is known for creating artificial intelligence platforms which makes businesses more effective and efficient at what they do. The reason why Palantir is in the news today is because they will likely win a $178 million Titan contract with the US military according to a William Blair analyst. To give you some context, Titan is a tactical ground station which utilizes layers of data from terrestrial and space sensors for long-range precision targeting and battlefield planning. And both Palantir and Raytheon were awarded $36 million for a 14-month contract to work on a phase two prototyping of this Titan. However, the army indicated that only one of them will win for phase three, which is likely Palantir Technologies. So now let's talk about this William Blair analyst who believes that Palantir was awarded over Raytheon. And he says, and I quote, we believe that it was highly likely that the contract was awarded to Palantir which is teaming up with Northrop Grumman, L3 Harris, and many others. So this is great news for Palantir Technologies, and it should increase their overall share price, at least in the short term. But despite Palantir potentially winning this contract, the extra revenue would still fall short of consensus estimates. As an example, professionals believe that Palantir should bring in around $2.8 billion, but even with the contract, the company is only set to bring in around $2.65 and $2.67 billion. Therefore, Palantir Technologies needs to continuously land new contracts and new awards going forward to meet these estimates. But overall, this is a positive news update for Palantir Technologies. Next up, let's talk about GitLab, ticker symbol GTLB, which recently announced their fourth quarter earnings and revenue that topped estimates. Now, the interesting thing here is that even though they beat on earnings and revenue, management's forecast seemed to have scared investors, and that's why their share price is trending downwards right now. For some background information, GitLab is an open source code repository, and many people use them. And for the quarter ending January 31st, they brought in 15 cents a share which swung from a loss of $0.03 cents per share a year earlier, while their revenue rose by 33% up to $163.8 million. So you would think that investors would be excited about this news, except management gave poor guidance, and that's what scared investors, because here's what management had to say. For fiscal 2025, they project that they will bring in $0.21 cents worth of profit, which falls short of estimates of $0.36 cents worth of profit per share. The company also forecasts that they will bring in around $728 million, which falls below estimates of $730 million. So investors did not want to hear that. And this is the main reason why the company's share price tumbled by around 24.6% down to around $56.14. But in my opinion, this would be a great time to buy this company. But I would love to hear your thoughts down below. And before you make any investment decision, always make sure to do your own research. Next up, let's talk about SoFi Technologies, ticker symbol SOFI, ticker name SoFi, and they are a fintech company which essentially operates as a digital bank. The reason why SoFi is in the news is because SoFi Technologies is looking to offer $750 million worth of convertible senior notes. The company also added that the notes will be unsecured and unsubordinated, and they will mature on March 15th of 2029. Overall, I would say this is not good news or bad news for SoFi Technologies, but at least they are still trying to invest into their business in some sort of way. I think SoFi is a pretty fundamentally solid company and I personally hold them in my portfolio so I would recommend that you look further into this company as well and tell me your thoughts about them down below. In a previous video we talked about Nvidia investing into five artificial intelligence companies but now we're going to talk about one particular company that Nvidia is heavily investing into so let's get right into it. It's no surprise that artificial intelligence also known as AI is taking the world by storm and it has added great momentum to the general stock market and if you zoom in on this AI revolution you would find 
find a leader in this space, which is none other than NVIDIA, ticker symbol NVDA. You should know that NVIDIA is best known for their graphics processing units, also known as GPUs. And GPUs are specialized chips that are used in accelerated computing and generative AI applications. And the demand for artificial intelligence means that companies need NVIDIA's GPUs, which is causing their share price to absolutely explode. But the news gets even better. With this new money, NVIDIA is aggressively deploying capital into new investments within robotics. And one of those investments would be in Figure AI. So let's talk about what Figure AI does and why this is going to benefit NVIDIA over the long term in the emerging robotics market. Figure AI is a startup that is developing humanoid robots. And Figure AI believes that robots will play a crucial role in the future of the economy. As an example, these robots will not only do jobs that humans shouldn't be doing, but they will also assist people within their own homes with mundane tasks and chores. Recently, a report broke out that Figure AI has raised around $675 million in venture capital. And on top of that, this company would have around a $2.6 billion valuation. So they have officially achieved unicorn status. But the news gets even better because this company has major backers, such as Microsoft, Jeff Bezos, Kathy Wood of ARK Invest, OpenAI, and of course, NVIDIA themselves. This development could pay off for all of those companies, especially NVIDIA, but if you noticed, Tesla was not on that list, and we're going to talk about that a little later. Right now, you should know that Goldman Sachs estimates that the total addressable market for humanoid robots could be roughly $38 billion by 2035. This means that this market is going to rapidly increase in its value from now until 2035, and for context, as of right now, or at least a year ago, this market was only worth around $6 billion. Therefore, investors would be wise to invest into companies who are investing into humanoid robots. But let's talk more about how this is going to benefit NVIDIA specifically. First, NVIDIA's chips are going to play a crucial role in the future development of Figure AI's robots. Secondly, NVIDIA and other companies that we mentioned need to compete with Tesla, because Tesla has been teasing investors with their own robot called Optimus. Tesla will use these Optimus robots in their gigafactories to make their electric vehicles. And of course, we can't forget about Boston Dynamics, who is the developer of the K9 robot Big Dog and the humanoid robot named Atlas. Therefore, there is already major competition within this space, and we also have competition from Amazon and Alibaba, who are leveraging less human-like robots for their own warehouses, because they are e-commerce companies. So by investing into Figure AI, this is going to pay off massively for NVIDIA and the other companies which are investing in to this particular market. In my personal opinion, I would invest into NVIDIA, Tesla, and Amazon, so it really doesn't matter who wins in this particular market, you're going to get paid either way. So I'd love to hear your thoughts about this down below. Of course, we can't talk about AI stocks and the best stocks to buy without also talking about Super Microcomputer, ticker symbol SMCI. The reason why Super Micro is back in the news today is because one of their directors recently sold around $4.37 million worth of company shares. For context, Supermicro is another artificial intelligence server company, and their director sold around 5,000 shares of the company's common stock. In my personal opinion, this is not bad news at all, and we've even seen the company climb by 27% in their share price over the last five trading days because the company is set to join the S&P 500 index. We also need to take into account that this company has surged by over 992.92% over the past year to trade at around $1,155. But I have a warning for you a pullback is literally imminent for this company. So remember that I said that. Now, it doesn't mean that in the future they can't surge higher, but as of right now, a pullback literally is going to happen any day, if not right now when you're watching this. So please be aware of that. Don't always follow the hype, and remember to do your own research. But overall, I have held this company ever since around $500 per share, so I've had a pretty good payoff from this company, but I would love to hear your thoughts about this company down below in the comments. Lastly, let's talk about the four major stocks that you need to be aware of right now, starting off with NEO. NEO is a Chinese EV maker, which recently reported a wider than expected adjusted loss in their operations. And investors really didn't like this, even though their revenues beat consensus estimates by
by around $70 million by them posting $2.41 billion. However, this company has been extremely volatile in their share price, so please be careful. Next, let's talk about AS Stock, which retreated more than 7% ahead of the opening bell. This company is a sports equipment maker, and they recently released an adjusted net loss of $41 million compared to a profit of $46 million a year ago. So this was bad news for the company, and that's why their share price is falling. Next, let's talk about CrowdStrike, ticker symbol CRWD, and this is a cybersecurity firm. As of right now, CrowdStrike has not released their earnings results, but by the time you watch this, they probably have already come out with the results, so please compare these estimates to what they actually brought in. Right now, Wall Street expects CrowdStrike to earn $0.82 cents per share on revenues of $839.96 million, so hopefully they beat on both of these estimates, but only time will tell. Lastly, let's talk about Novo Nordisk, ticker symbol NVO, which recently fell by 2% in their share price. The reason why they are in the news is because of Ozempic, which is a pharmaceutical that has shown to cut the risk of a kidney disease by a substantial margin of 24%. However, investors were hoping for better figures than just a 24% reduction. But overall, this is still a phenomenal company to have in your portfolio. And with that being said, I would love to hear your thoughts about any or all of these news updates. Subscribe if you are new, smash that like button for more videos just like this one. And with that being said, I will see you in the next YT video.